guys welcome to my channel this is miss lauren lee 11 if you're new here thank you for stopping by discovering my channel have a look see what i'm about if you've already subscribed hey my fellow subscribers i see you guys thank you so much for your support and love okay so guys i've had a couple of requests to basically speak about the Garnier hair food that I demonstrated in my video a couple well a couple of videos ago and I'm gonna be talking about them in more depth today okay so the two that I have here today is this one so Garnier ultimate blends smooth and hair food coconut and macadamia and then the second one I have to hand is this one's so yummy Garnier ultimate blends food hair banana and shea butter okay so there are six in the brands okay and i'm just gonna go ahead and read those so there's coconut which i've shown you the macadamia i don't know if the macadamia is a separate one because the coconut one also contains macadamia but i'm not sure then you've got the goji berries papaya banana which i've just shown you and aloe vera now as i've said all i've got my hands on with these two the banana and the coconut with macadamia so i'm just going to go and talk about these ones today okay first let's start by the price now i've got both of these on sale and the price wasn't too bad at all it was um i believe it was like three pound fifty or what have you it was on sale but i, I don't, it's no more than four pounds so they're quite they're quite cheap to to purchase okay what attracted me to them is because usually i'm always in the natural hair shop buying natural hair products and i was actually in my local soup drug store which is um I guess if you're in the US, I guess it's kind of like a CVS, um, I think. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not sure. It's like my local supply and beauty supply store. And I saw these and I don't usually use these products for my hair because I just find that, you know, for, for curly hair, I usually just go for products that state it's for curly hair. Even though these ones, this states that it's for dry hair and this states for frizzy and unruly hair. I have a problem with the word unruly though I just I just want to say my hair is not unruly it's got character so I don't believe my hair is all curly hair for that matter of fact it can get frizzy but I don't feel it's unruly okay it's got a mind of its own and it does what it does and that's what it's meant to do okay it's just the characteristics so I digress so I've spoken about the price let me get on to the fact that these products are vegan Not only are they vegan, but on all the products it says 98% natural ingredients, okay? And I really, really like that. I mentioned this in my last video and I'm going to mention it again. I'm going to go more in depth. So in regards to the 98% natural origins of ingredients, it says our formula is made with 98% natural origin ingredients. The remaining 2% ensure good preservation. The remaining products that are the 2%, which is the minor amount of products, are to basically preserve it, okay? Because if it is a natural product, which is 98%, it will go off, okay? And it majorly reduce the shelf time. So obviously to sell their products, they need to have a shelf time, okay? This is the banana one I'm reading to you. Okay, so the first ingredient is water. Second ingredient says soterial alcohol. Third ingredient, my favorite, <laughs> glycerin. Okay, then it's got all these, uh, you know, scientific names. <laughs> um, the ones that do stand out to me, so let me read to you the oils. So it's got olive oil, it's got banana fruit juice, soya bean oil, sunflower oil, rosemary leaf extract, coconut oil, avocado oil, shea butter, and then it goes on to the rest of the stuff that it has in it, okay? Which again, are all, um, science names for them uh it's got fermented beetroot or corn okay i don't know which one it is one or the other but those seem very natural to me and i'm quite happy with those ingredients one thing i will say is i did try a diy banana hair mask before i love the way it made my hair feel but i didn't actually um sieve the the pureed banana into my hair mask so it then left me with the seeds which were a nightmare to wash out my hair. So the fact that this has got, this contains banana because I do love the way banana makes my hair feel. So the fact that this actually contains banana or banana is the, one of the main ingredients as well as shea butter 
I am very happy about that. So as I mentioned in my last videos, there are three ways. I'm still, I'm still impressed by this, guys. <laughs> There are three ways to use this product. So the first way is as a normal conditioner, washout conditioner. Second way is a deep conditioner. Third way as a leave-in mask, a leave-in conditioner. Now I've tried all three ways. Um, I didn't think I got much value just using it as a washout conditioner. I don't feel that it done as much as it could have done as it did when I left it in as a deep conditioner. So my point is I feel that it works best as a deep conditioning mask, so leave it on your hair for long and then wash it out. And also it works amazing as a leave-in conditioner. The smell of it is divine, it's yummy, it smells like a banana pudding. So imagine the wind blowing through your hair, this scent of yummy banana pudding just blowing everywhere. It's amazing, okay? So I think out of all the three, I think the best way I could use this is as a leave-in conditioner. Let's go on to um, Ultimate Blends promise to be good to your hair and the world we live in. Now this is what I like. I hate, I hate waste. I love to be resourceful and I hate waste. So the fact that they are being resourceful, I'm really happy about that. Or they're thinking about the environment that they're producing these products in. Good one, Garnier. Okay, so it says CO2. It says factory committed to 60% less CO2 emissions by 2020. That's a good look says factory committed to sustainable practices they're also partnered with a trademark called TerraCycle to keep beauty products out of landfills again love it okay I'm happy with all of that and it, make, it just makes me feel a that little bit better <laughs> about using their products okay this way I'm not really into using products that are aimed at the natural hair community because those are very pricey but the fact that these are natural ingredients it's almost like you're doing a DIY mask yourself okay without the hassle so, it's hair food, it really is food, it treats your hair, it feeds it, gives it all the nourishments your hair is meant to have. So let's go on to the smell. As I said, oh, it's so divine. So, the fact that it's got banana juice in there, it does smell like a tropical fruit juice, mainly consisting of banana juice. It smells so yummy, that if I don't put the lid back on right now, I'm gonna end up scooping it out and eating it, okay? <laughs> very very nice okay so consistency if you can see that guys it's quite runny so in comparison to a conditioner it's it's got a similar consistency of your usual conditioners okay it's smooth it has got slip not as much not as much slip as I would like um, and this is just speaking for this one the other one the macadamia it does have a bit more slip than this one I found I don't know what that, I don't know for what reason, but it does. And you can leave it in your hair as a leave-in conditioner. At first that did kind of weird me out because in my head, if I'm putting in a deep conditioner, I know I'm meant to wash it out. So the fact that I left it in my hair, I kind of felt like, oh, I don't know. But you know, it is it is 98% natural ingredient. So that gave me the confidence that, okay, it will just basically soak into my hair. It won't do anything that it's not meant to do. And plus, it is no, no silicones and has a natural feel, which it does. So, that leads me on from the banana one. Um, there's not too much different in regards to the coconut to macadamia one. It says pretty much the same things, and what it contains is macadamia, soya bean, sunflower, jojoba oil, almond and coconut oil. It's got a slightly different colour. Uh, smells yummy again. I don't actually know what macadamia nut smells like, so I can't say whether it smells exactly like macadamia nut, but it's got a very fresh, um, I wouldn't say it's light, but it's it's quite a heavy scent, but it's a scent that you can deal with. Again, it's got very similar texture to the last one, like a lotion. And as I said, I feel like I had more slip with this. Okay. And as I said, it says for frizzy and unruly hair. This one's for dry hair. And the shea butter is amazing for dry hair as well. And the banana is amazing for smoothing your hair. Now the benefits of the macadamia and coconut, I'm not a fan of coconut by itself on my hair. Coconut oil gives me an itchy scalp and it also dries my hair out. So in regards to the frizz, I think the macadamia is the one that's doing the main job. But that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I do definitely recommend these. I am very happy that Garnier have looked into something like this, made the conditioner smell so divine. 
and I, as I said I would re definitely recommend them have a try of them see what you think if you've tried any others let me know as well down below in the comments and thank you for watching guys I will see you soon bye